Our final stop is the Sherwin Miller Museum of Jewish Art. These stained glass windows were from Houston, Texas. And one interesting thing I learned is that whenever they show someone with their eyes closed on stained glass, that means they're blind. This is the Humans of Israel Gallery. Look what we're on first place. The windows are covered, right? So maybe it was the secret annex. This is the Torah, and when they were making it, they wouldn't use their hands because then if they smeared the paper, they'd have to redo the whole thing. The yacht is the tool that they used to touch the paper. The menorah over there has seven candles that represent the seven days of creation. This is the chapa, and it's where Jewish people would get married. It symbolizes the house of God. This section is on the outfits from Jewish people in different countries, and this one's Morocco. Oh wow, it's golden. Wow. This is really cool because they're items in disguise, like that ship turns into a menorah, and if people went into their house, they wouldn't know these are Jewish items. It helps in times when Jewish people were persecuted. This is the Jews Rock exhibit, and it was painted by Jews that were into rock and roll. We went to the Bob Dylan Museum this year. We're now in the Holocaust exhibit, and these are symbols of hate, like the KKK uniform, the SS uniform that was used by the Nazis, and this shows that haters can be in any ordinary clothing. These are the German federal election results through the years. So as you can see, in 1928, the Nazi party was just 2%, and they quickly became 99%. That's clever. To not glorify the Nazi memorabilia, it's like you're looking down at a coffin. Now it's like we're in the concentration camp looking out to Jewish life that was in the past. These stones represent the 1.5 million children that should have lived longer but were murdered during the Holocaust. And that is the Sherwin Miller Museum of Jewish Art. My favorite part was seeing all the masks. <laughs> Everything there and it was just the masks. Okay, well that's cool. Yeah, I think the highlight of that museum is the Holocaust exhibit, just because you can see stuff that the Nazis had and the Jewish people had during World War II. And there was a lot of important history in that exhibit. See you in the next video. Bye!